A second round of talks on the South Korea-U.S. free trade deal will take place in Washington next week. Seoul's trade chief currently in the U.S. to sell the benefits of the FTA deal says that if a renegotiation takes place, the U.S. should yield more to its ally, especially given the shaky security situation on the Korean peninsula. Our Kim min has the details. Washington's threat to scrap the Korea-U.S. free trade deal is real and imminent, says Korea's trade minister Kim Yeon-jong. Speaking to reporters in Washington on Wednesday local time, Kim said that Seoul is looking at ways to contain such threat and preparing thoroughly for any possible renegotiation to the trade pact. The trade chief is currently on a visit to the U.S. to meet with lawmakers and American companies and promote the mutual benefits of the five-year-old deal. This comes ahead of a second meeting of a joint committee on amending it, set to take place October 4th. First round of talks were held in Seoul in August, but bore little fruit. President Trump's call to pull out of the deal seems to be on the back burner for now on the heels of North Korea's sixth nuclear test. And as Washington needs close cooperation from Seoul in dealing with Pyongyang's provocations, pushing ahead on trade talks could deal a blow to their alliance. In light of the security situation, Kim said the U.S. is in a position to make more concessions. He said bilateral relations are important to both sides, but under such circumstances, the U.S. needs to yield more as an ally. He said it remains to be seen whether calls for an all-out scrapping of the deal could resurface, saying the Seoul's trade team is preparing for all scenarios and is confident it will do a good job. Trump has called the free trade deal a job killer, blaming it for America's growing trade deficit with Seoul and goods. However, Korea claims that the figure would have been much greater without the deal and has called for an assessment of the treaty's impact on both countries. The U.S. writes down a deficit of some 28 billion U.S. dollars in goods trade with Seoul, but it posts a surplus of 10 billion dollars in services. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.